hi everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video house look at this hair a bitch has <laughs> wow like wow this is my first time ever dying here like this like i've never anytime i've tried to dye hair it has come out in a disaster but guys like shit I think the hair came out so good, like wow. Oh guys, I'm tired. This took me 15 hours. JK took me maybe 10 hours. Yeah. If you end up making the wig, it took time. But it was worth it because look how good this hair was. Chef's kiss. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, leave in the comments down below. You can like, subscribe, share with your friends. Also, I'm thinking of doing this like as a business. So if you're interested in me making a work for you, you can hit me up in the comment section, Instagram, everything is in my description. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So this is what the wig looks like made. I made this wig by myself on a sewing machine using Michelle Hay from Kamwaller. So um, I really like the way this hair turned out. After bleaching, it still felt really good, but it doesn't really hold a curl well. So that's the only downside. So these are all the supplies you'll need. Bleach, developer, a toner, clips, brushes, a mixing bowl. Everything will be in the description if you don't pay attention to the video. So I'm not using any measurements because <laughs> a bitch doesn't follow instructions. I'm just pouring bleach in it. I'm pouring developer in and you hope for the best. I decided that uh, the consistency was good when I mixed it and it felt like it was good. I don't know if that's much of an instruction but uh, honestly, I think the, the proper way to do bleach is two parts developer one part bleach but me i just threw everything together um mix it up and twist the consistency you like so uh <laughs> now that the wig is ready and the bleach is ready you're gonna section out um like medium pieces of hair thick pieces i don't know you can actually go track by track if you feel more comfortable but because you're trying to be as quick as possible i'm getting kind of thicker sections so basically what you're going to do is first put on gloves because you don't want to bleach your fingers. So make sure your gloves are on. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece like the section I have and you're going to brush up. So honestly, it's just easier if you watch what I'm doing. So you brush up from the bottom of the hair so that there's like this kind of bush head <laughs> i don't know just watch what i'm doing and copy it and you can put the bleach on however you want just make sure that it's coated from the end of the hair to where that uh, bush bush is and then you can use your foil to wrap the hair i actually found that using the foil didn't work as much as i thought it would using a plastic work like cling film it sped up the bleaching process so quickly so i think maybe if you want you can skip the foil the only reason the foil is good is because it's locking the moisture in and that's the whole point once bleach dries it stops processing hair so it's supposed to stay moist moist <laughs> anyway so you just follow what i'm doing honestly it's just easier if you look this this was my first time doing this, by the way. I saw this technique from some French guy on YouTube. He wasn't even speaking English in the video, but I still managed to get the hair like this. So I think you'd have to be just not paying attention in order for this to fail. So just do exactly what I'm doing in this video. You brush up the hair and apply your bleach. And you literally just continue this throughout the entire head. And I will pop back in when you reach about halfway through the The two developers I used were 20 volume and 30 volume. It's up to you which one you want to use. Obviously, the 
more the volume the like lighter the hair will be but maybe a bit more damaged so if you want it to be really blonde i would suggest getting the 40 volume but what i did was i started off with the 20 volume then when i reached the top i switched to the 30 volume because um the hair at the bottom was processing faster so i wanted the top to process at the same amount of time that's why i switched to the 30 volume Had previously sectioned off two pieces of hair in the front of the head so this is on the closure and it's the two framing pieces like that Beyonce picture you saw you know so those are the framing pieces and basically what you want to do is apply the bleach not all the way to the root but leave a little bit of the root because I think it looks more natural if there's some root pulling through and then you have the two framing pieces so just watch how I'm doing it I'm not putting it all the way to the beginning of the hair at the root um i actually had to go in and re-bleach this part because it didn't get to the color that i wanted it so yeah maybe do the framing piece at the beginning if you want a really light piece So this is what your hair should be looking like. I know, crazy. Hey, <laughs> this looks like a fucking rat's nest. But trust me, at this point, I was also worried. I was like, mm, I don't think this hair is going to come out nice. But it did in the end. So basically, at some point, I switched to using plastic instead of foil because it was speeding up the bleaching process quickly. So yeah, just trust the process. I know it looks bad, but at the in the end, it will look good. So this is what the hair looks like after the first round of bleach. Honestly, you could leave it here and be done because it looks so good. But it was a bit too orange for me. So I went over again and re-bleached it. I wanted to add some highlights. So I sectioned the hair and I was focusing more at the top of the hair. So I sectioned it in half because that's where I want the highlights to be most. And I went back in the front where those framing pieces are and I reapplied the bleach. And then I just... I did like the weaving method with the comb to just pick out some strands of highlight. I didn't do the same process I did for the first round of bleach. I just picked random pieces and highlighted them because I wanted them to look lighter. And then after that, I washed out the bleach and I used the Wella T14 toner. It's in the color Pale Ash Blonde, I think. You can use any toner you want. Honestly, I think it just takes the color to a different level and it looks so juicy. But yeah, after that, this is what the hair looks like, completely, completely dry. And this is the final color. The waves look really good. Honestly, you could wear it like this. It looks like a beach wave or whatever. And the hair is done. Thank you guys for watching.